Hey everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm Mark and I'm here with Cora. And what are we drawing today? Today we're drawing Poppy from Trolls. Yes, that's what we're gonna draw today. So grab yourself a sheet of paper, markers, and we will get started. Okay, so Cora, what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna draw at the bottom of our page and we're gonna work our way up. We'll have some fingers at the bottom of our page on the left. So we'll draw a circle, kind of like an elliptical shape like an egg shape, like this. And then we'll draw another one a little bit smaller to the right. And we'll draw a small one on the left. Like that. So we'll do three fingers on that side. And then what we'll do is we'll draw on the other side, we'll draw the same thing, we'll draw a larger egg in the middle and then we'll do two on either side so the one that's in the closest on this side is a little bit bigger and the one on the outside is going to be a smaller one like that okay now in the middle between the two hands we're going to draw a U shape this is going to be her mouth so we're going to come from right above the, this finger here, we're gonna come down and then we're gonna come back up. And we're gonna end about here. Okay, now you can go like this. For the I knew little, it was the smile. For the little ends, yep. And then over here, we're, we're gonna show some teeth. So leave a little bit of a space and this shape can be a little bit flatter. It'll still be curved down but just real subtle like that. Okay, and then we'll do two teeth. We'll start in the middle and we'll go over to the left like that. One, and these are fairly big, two. And then this one you can go and just stop at the bottom lip. Yep, and then on this side you can do another one. two, and then the last one like that. And then you can put one in the middle, and this will just be a little peekaboo shape. And then you go, leave a little bit of a gap and do a small one and a little bit of a gap on the other side and like that. So you'll see three tiny teeth poking up there. Okay, now we'll come up and we'll draw the nose. So right in the middle, we're gonna draw like a U shape like this. And the U is gonna be like a decent size, yep. And then now this side here, you're gonna come just below this nostril shape right here, not at the end, but over here. And you're gonna come out towards the cheek over here, but you're gonna come about here. So you're gonna come like this and you're gonna round like that. Yep. And then what we wanna do is we wanna, if you draw an imaginary line up from the middle of your nose to a right about here, if you put a little dot, yep. Then what you'll do is you'll come, it's almost like this is like a heart shape upside down. And if you have to go past that dot that you just drew, it's okay. So we'll come up like this and then we'll flatten and then we'll come up. So I actually went past my dot. Yep. And then we'll do the same on the other side. We'll come out, up, flat, and we'll point. Hey guys, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. So please help us out and click that subscribe button down below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Now we'll draw the eyes. So we're gonna do a, not a perfect circle, but the eye is going to be like a bend. So it's going to be like a soft U shape. Okay. And then we're going to come, make sure there's a little bit of a space in between the eyes in the middle. So we're going to come up and just do a round shape like that. And then we'll do another soft curve down here on the right. And then we'll come up and over. Okay, now we can do 
a circle. So we're going to do two circles. So there's going to be one inside the other. So if you want to start with the small one and draw the larger one afterwards, that's fine. Or you can draw the big one and draw the smaller one inside of it. So I'll start with my bigger one. I'm going to do my small one like first. Like this. And then I'm going to have a smaller one inside of that. And I'll do the same on the other side. And I'm just going to fill in the black center part with my marker. We're going to do a little bit of a thickness first. And we can actually do the thickness on both sides. So do a little bit of a thicker eye there. Okay. Now we'll go out to the left and we'll come out and we'll do these like three little triangle shapes. And then we can just color those in. Because they're her eyelashes. Yeah, her eyelashes. We won't do this side because we're going to have some hair over there. What we'll do is up above this eye, we're going to draw this eyebrow. So we're going to come right about here. We're going to do this curve, like a little moon shape, like that. Okay. Now, right above this, we'll do a flower that's in her like bandana. So we'll draw a petal down here. It's gonna have like three flower petal shapes. Then we'll do another one like this. And I'm gonna, yep, and I'm gonna come from here, the middle here, and end right about there. Then I'll draw a smaller petal that's coming out of these like corners right in here. So we'll draw these like three little flower shapes there. So we're going to come from this lower petal right here and then we're going to come out here and then we're going to go just above the fingers. So we're going to draw like, so, a, like an S. So it's like the bandana on her head and then like the hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So this is going to be a hair piece that comes down comes over like that. Mm -hmm. And then this will come up. And then we'll draw a couple more strands. These are going to be close together. And we'll do another one like this. And then this will come up like that. Not all the way. Yep. If you go up to where the eyebrow is, and you go over to the left. Okay, so that's where the ear is going to be. So that's going to be the top of the ear. So start right about here. And we'll draw this curve that comes up. And it comes down. It's a pretty decent size ear. It's the ear. It's a big ear. Yep. Now over here, you can draw a shape that comes out to the left. It hooks back and up like that. Yep. So it's now, like the, it looks like an S. Yep, or backwards snake. S, yep. And then right in the middle, you can draw a little line like this. So I'm going to draw the three big petal shapes. I'm going to do one. Then I'm going to do another one. It goes up like this. And then another one like that. And then we'll draw the th three smaller ones that kind of come in between those corners. I wonder what those are, like, I think little petals or yeah, something. Yeah, they're little, little, little flowers. Yeah. So we'll start about here, we'll come up, and we'll draw two lines like that. And that'll be the thickness of our bandana. Keep coming across, just a little bit though, and then you take that top one and you come across. We'll do that, and we'll draw one more flower on this side, right, right around here. And we're going to do a shape that comes down and it comes and almost hits her eye and then it hooks up just a little bit. Yep, that's it. And then we're going to come back. And you can kind of come up a little bit if you want more. Yep, and now right in here you're going to do a shape like this. So a little shape there. Uh huh. And then this is going to come through that hair piece, but it's invisible because it's behind. And then we're going to come like this. Invisible. And we're going to go pretty close to her fingers down here. We're going to come like this, and we're going to hook over to the right. A point.
point that comes up like that. And we'll draw a couple more. From so there. like it's kind of like the other side. Exactly. Yes. Yep. That's the other side of her hair. Okay. Now over here where her finger is, you can draw a little curve for her face. We'll try to draw that same ear on this side. All right, guys. A shape that comes out to the right and then it hooks down. It doesn't have to touch anything. You don't have to touch anything. And then we'll draw that shape in the middle. So we'll the come. Snake. That snake, yeah, will come up, over, and then hook. So it's kind of like an S shape. And then we'll have a little piece that does that in the middle. Like kind of look like a, like a cobra with. Yep. And now you can that. put a little shape that kind of does this. And I'm just going to put one extra piece of hair. Because I have a little bit of space there. Then up here, I'm going to go across and I'm going to continue her bandana over as it touches the ear. So we're going to leave a little bit of, just a little bit of space above the flowers, okay? So we can draw like the hair? But we're going to draw where the ponytail, the little yeah, the uh, ponytail. elastic for the ponytail. So we're going to go up like this and down. Okay, right in the middle somewhere. Okay, now over here, we're going to come and go down and up like that a little. Excellent. And now you can do a couple little like triangular like points for her hair and then dip it down before you hit the ear. So you come down before you hit the ear. And then on the other side, this will go right into the flower. So we'll come, I'll do a couple little pointy shapes and I'll go right into the flower. Now we have all this space at the top for her ponytail. So what we'll do is we'll come out of this. So we're going to come over and do this. And then we'll draw like a shape like that. And I'll draw another one that comes off of this. And I'm going to just draw a few more that do that right off like that. I'm going to go up in this direction. Then I'm going to have another one. Like that. Then you can start going to the other side with a few. And then down here you can do last one like that and I'm just going to put a few little extra strands just like these little lines right here and then I'll just put a few little dimple freckle shapes on the sides of her cheeks so a few we're going to go over and stop where that hair piece comes okay hon we're going to come like that. So one, two, and then just fill in the rest like that. Yeah, because the hair is blocking the eyelash. And if you want to add an extra little strand of hair on either side, you can do a couple like strands of hair. And we just finished Poppy from the Trolls movie. What do you think? How'd yours turn she out? She looks cute. You like what yours turned out like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What are we going to do next? We are going to color it in. Let's add some color. We'll speed up the film and see you guys in a bit.
Hey guys, we just finished drawing and markering in Poppy from what movie? Trolls. Trolls, that's right. Hopefully you guys had a fun time. If you did, please like our channel and subscribe down below. We need your help to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, okay? Without you, we can't do it. And we wanna do videos every single day for you guys, all right? So check out some of these videos over here and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.